Okay, one day, a close friend, Brian, came to me and said, Hey, dude, I saw this video on how to cut a scuba tank in half. So I'm just like, okay, let's try it. So he built this cool little jig. And this jig holds this uh, grinder just right. And we started cutting it and cutting and grinding. And it was smoking and popping and kicking. And kids, please... Don't do as we do. Please wear safety glasses. It's not a good idea to do anything like this without safety glasses. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we were even doing that. So anyway, after about six, seven minutes of this, we finally cut in half. We were pretty happy to get that over with. Right about now it broke loose. Oh yeah. Okay, and I got this uh, half inch steel shaft, cut off the end to length, made sure it was all nice and smooth. I took the other end, cut a slot out of it, made it just about right so the other shackle end went right through there. That's where it was swing. Then I took a one and a half pound steel weight a little nut between there, kind of dibation through with the tape on there. And I set the, the weight just to the bottom of the barrel. Kind of put that bolt through there to where you can't get that ring out of there very easy to. Slid the shaft with the weight on there up the side of there. It's a little tricky to get it in there. Pulled out the end. Screwed on the other eye on top. Turned out just right. Looks pretty good so far. Then I got this old PVC flat bulkheading material that I had laying around. Cut a big chunk out of that. Kind of made like a wind catcher. Screwed it all together. And listen to that sweet sound. Worked good. Try it, y'all. Just wear safety glasses. Thanks for watching.